if you want anything to succeed in this world and in society and any kind of a movement, it starts with our youth. It starts with our kids. That's why we need to educate them when they're young. Um, right. On that we're all human. Yeah, we are all different. Beautifully different. Because mm -hmm. there are things that you can do better than I can do. My oldest son has autism. And he would tell me, he's like, mom, he's like, well, I have this and I can't do this and I'm different. No, you're just as capable as any other kid because they might struggle at math. You might struggle at reading. Everybody has struggles. Everybody has different strengths. And mm -hmm. that's the beauty of it. And it, it's not about not maybe not even not necessarily seeing the differences, but not fearing those differences. I know you and I have talked before how a lot of things, and you even mentioned it now, like how a lot of things within the movement itself, within a lot of these, it's fear-based. Mm -hmm. It's it's fear of the unknown. It's fear of something of ourselves. It's, it's fear of what we don't understand. Mm -hmm. And then that becomes instilled in us and ingrained in us. And right. we need to teach our children when it's young and we need to be able to have those conversations when they're young you did a podcast with Jeff one of the first beyond barriers ones and one thing that you said hit me so hard was that it starts at home and the only way to fight hate is with love and how mm -hmm. your son you had to explain to your son what racism was because they hadn't been around it because you chose not to raise your children in that manner and not to instill those things. I mean, it, it's proof that you're not born a racist. No, no one's born a racist for sure. You know, no, because that's not our, uh, hate is, hate is not a natural, uh, emotion, mm -hmm. you know, that you, that you're born with. 